All right. <laughs> All right, it looks like we made it live. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey. Stephanie, Stephanie Stitches here, and I have my good friend, Yvette. I'm he's, here. It's a miracle. Fun little project along with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm really excited to do it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. I'm trying to uh, see the names of everybody. I should. Uh, There's a lot move. of y'all. Hi. Okay. Teresa Louise is here. Hi there. Paula and Linda. And Terry Luxon is here. Cindy Hall, 1914 Coyote. Tracy and Jacqueline. Carolyn. Heather Grintz. Uh, let's see, Pat Strahouse. Hi, everybody. I have my phone right next to me, so that's why I'm looking down because I can't see my computer all the way over there. <laughs> Around to it. Hello. Hi, Nancy Guess. Let's see. Hi, James. And Karen Mewis, Karen Cox, Linda Foos, and Joy and Beverly. Alice Dolan, Mary Jane Ellinger. Oh, hey, Tamala. Annette and Netta. Hey, Netta. And Donna. Mm -mm -mm. Regina Cole, Brenda Foley, Pamela Colburn, Marion, Nancy. Hey there. Nancy, I hope, did you get the project requirements? I hope so. She asked earlier. Shelly and Celie. And oh, I recognize this name, the Yvette Renee. Ah. <laughs> hey, Connie. Connie Miller's here. Shannon Rhodes, Lori Mann, Deborah Reed, Lisa Gardner. Hello, everybody. Okay, so from this point forward, if you have any questions, tag either at Stephanie Stitches or at the Yvette Renee. And so we can see you pop up and we'll answer your questions the best we can. Yep. Today we're making, oh, I almost couldn't find it. <laughs> we're making these cute little bags and you'll need a mini charm pack, a fat quarter and some stabilizer. Uh, the project requirements are in the link in the description box below. A um, sorry, go ahead. And a zipper, yes. A zipper. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a bag we need a zipper <laughs> i would bring uh, the smallest i would say is nine inches but just to be safe i would do 11 if you've got an 11 inch zipper um so yeah let me think uh thanks tracy Lisa said yvette i love the blue eyeshadow really brightens your eyes thank you very pretty <laughs> <laughs> i haven't worn makeup since like wednesday <laughs> <laughs> Trish from California said it's 83 degrees in California. Wow. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Polly. Hi, Nancy Gus. Hi, Joanne. I think I caught everybody. If I didn't, I apologize. The chat does go a little bit quick and hard to see. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know that Yvette is still having a sale at her shop and there is a link in the descri description box right to her shop. Um, she's having, remind me, still 40% off? Yes. 40% off all her products. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unless My you're producing it real, of course, because then you'll get, you can get 45% off, but right. general public, 40% off, general which is nothing to shake a stick at. No, it's not. And do they need a code or anything or is it just automatically applied? It is. The code is 40 off. Okay. And, it, but it is listed on the website, uh, right on the front page. So if you forget it, it's right there for you. Awesome. And things are selling fast. So if you guys need any fabric, you need any, um, you've got all kinds of stuff, right? Solids, yes. prints. Solids, prints. There's uh, some notions, although those are mostly going so yeah uh you know i mean it like if if there's something you're really gonna want you ought to go quick but I'll yeah quick. there's plenty of fabric there's still plenty of fabric and it's it's lovely she's been selling a lot though so if you guys want something or you've been eyeing it check it out yep. and okay. on in my shop which is also a link in the uh, description box below i have all my pre-cuts and kits 20 percent off 
that'll be through this next Friday. And I've got all my patterns and pattern books, 15% off. So awesome. take advantage of that too. So check out both of us. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Help us out a lot. <laughs> and I just wanted to tell you guys about a couple other things. Um, starting tomorrow is uh, my secret garden. So along uh, that's block one, I will um, release the PDF instructions and the first video tomorrow morning. And then Monday starts the Fort Worth Fabric Studio. As luck would have it, uh, St. Patrick's Day so long. So I'm going to be doing both of those. So I'm going to be a busy lady for the next You're couple busy. days. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be a lot of fun. So I hope you join me. <laughs> okay. I wish I could. Uh, tomorrow I probably could, but Monday I won't. Wouldn't be able to do it. But, but yeah, yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. much fun. Awesome. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to do them. So yeah. Okay. So I guess we're ready to get started. Yes. So take your mini charm pack. If you've got one or 40, two and a half inch squares, either one. And we're going to start by, um, sewing these little guys all together in a row of five and you're going to make eight rows. Yep. So let's start doing that. Hello, Tammy, the crafting disaster. Uh, Pamela said, you two are killing me with your sales. <laughs> you know, it, it is good whenever people have sales, but I think Steph will agree with me that, you know, we're not trying to make people go and buy things that, you know, they don't want or anything like that. But for me, I know, my thing is, if you are looking for a fabric, I would just really appreciate if you come and check out our shops first. And if yep. we don't have what you're looking for, then please feel free to go, every, you know, anywhere else. Because there's loads of people who are, um, you know, selling fabric and others that are having sales and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. but we just want to be your first stop. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. Okay, Terry said only need 40 mini charms, can't decide which two mini charms to eliminate out of the pack. So <laughs> the way I usually pick is I usually pick if there's like a tone on tone, especially for a bag like this. Um, uh, a lot of lines have like a white on white or a cream on cream. I'll pull that out. And then uh, if there's two of them, there you go. Then you only have 40. If there's only one, then just pick one other, like your least favorite one. <laughs> uh, is the secret garden from you? Yes, Catherine, that's my block, my block. It's a weekly mystery block. The patterns are completely free. You can use your own stash. If you didn't buy a kit from me and the kits are sold out. Um, and the fabric requirements and the cutting instructions are up on my website now. And there's a link in my description box for that. Um, but the patterns are going to be completely free. They're going to be released every Sunday with a video tutorial right here on YouTube um, through, I think it's, I can't remember the date in March now because I had to push it a week, but middle of March. So it's six weeks and we're going to be sewing two of each block a week. And the blocks start there. This is a beginner to beginner advance. They start, the first block is very, very simple. And then they get harder as we go. but still nothing that I don't think a beginner couldn't do. And I wanted to say hi to Kathleen and to Shirley. I did see your messages. Hello. <laughs> Tracy said, don't want fabric, says no quilter ever. <laughs> I know, but I don't want it to, you know what I mean. Yeah, Amber, I mean. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> says, Stephanie, do you have the green grunge that was in the Fort Worth fabric Christmas quilt? No, I don't, but that's, um, that's pear. So if you want to get that grunge, the name of it is pear. I don't carry that color. It looked really pretty in that quilt though.
I think someone had said something about Christmas morning too. Did you, um, I, I know you have some Christmas morning still in your shop. Which ones do you have? Oh, um, just a very little bit. I've got some yardage. I don't think I have any pre-cuts left at all. Yeah, I didn't see any pre-cuts, but I did yeah. see a little bit of yardage in your shop. I have a little bit of yardage left of Christmas morning. Not a whole lot, though. That line's almost sold out, and not surprised. It's beautiful. Yeah. Maybe you guys can tell us um, in the comments uh, and discuss among yourselves which fabric you're using. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to know. Yeah, we're definitely going to be interested in seeing your finished project. So. so which fabric are you using, Yvette? I am using the C and Me by Stacy SU. Okay. And it's sort of like this. So pretty. Yes, it's very cute, very now, summery. I, I have charm packs in that in my shop. What do you have in your shop of that? Because you've got some too, right? I I really think I have sold out of it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I did have it, and um, you know, I had this mini charm, but I those are not. I'm not selling them in my shop. So right, and I think the I think I had charm packs, but I think they're all sold. There might be one left, but that would be it. Yeah, this is <laughs> so what go the over to Steph. Look like. They're yeah, so pretty. Go over to Steph because she's got them. Colors. They're very, very beachy colors. Yes, yeah, very fun. It's it's a light beachy color. Yeah, yeah. It's got like a green, teal, and like some corals. Oh, Pamela okay. said when she makes it, she's going to use Springbrook. Yes, oh. please. Good choice. Yeah, Shannon's using Sunday Supper by Sweetwater. Awesome. I love Sunday Supper. Yes. I was going to, um, I was thinking about doing like a, a Valentine one. And then I thought, uh, you uh -huh. know, I've been doing a bit of Valentine lately. And every, you know, so I thought, well, just, just in case. You were doing something Valentine. And then the funny thing is we both ended up using the C and me. <laughs> well, I'm doing, I'm going to do the C and me for my own, but I'm doing love Lily for my daughter. Oh, right. Her birthday is this coming Friday. She's going to be 13 and she asked me for one of these bags. So I decided to make hers tonight. Excellent. So, I can't wait to see that. I love, love Lily. Oh, it's so pretty. And just very Sarah, right? The colors. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Pat Strawhouse said she's she pulled Harvest Road by Layla Boutique from her stash for this. Awesome. Karen's using Fiddle DD. Oh. Awesome. Hey, Kathy's Quilts and Crafts. Julia Austin said, got my Fort Worth St. Patrick's kit today. Awesome. <laughs> she said, coming to your house when I run out of money for food. <laughs> okay. I have lots of top ramen. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I just saw Karen and Connie's both name both, and I forgot that I was supposed to send them the fabric requirements. So I hope you guys found them. I'm so sorry. The last couple of days have been nuts, and I completely forgot. <laughs> it has been a couple of nuts days, that's for sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Nancy said, I'm cutting five inch squares up for this project of cherished moments in from poppy cotton. Ooh, Ooh, I like poppy cotton. They have such cute fabric. Yes. Okay. So once you've gotten all of your squares sewn into rows like this, you're going to have eight of these rows. We're going to sew all of the rows together. So you should have a five by eight creation. <laughs> Oh, good, Karen. 
He said they found it. That's good. It didn't even dawn on me. I completely forgot because I talked to her when I was on the way to the guild thing. So I was totally distracted. Oh, <laughs> yes, you were distracted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, they are two and a half inch squares. Yep. All sewn together. Five in a row and eight rows you need. Mine are definitely not going to be perfect because I am like eyeballing everything. Me too. <laughs> Normally <laughs> I would like nest all the seams and pin it but oh i know i just i decided i was just gonna press open and say forget it i'm just gonna i'm, I'm just winging it yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be my bag anyway right and i don't judge i'm using nancy guest said i'm using nancy's scrap collection <laughs> There you go. I love it. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> Stir said, so happy to see the paper white grunge in your shop. My eyes lit up. Can't wait to see it in person. I will tell you that it's almost gone already. <laughs> I get in a bolt and I put it in my shop and it's gone within two days. So, and I can tell you, I've love. Seen it. yeah, I've seen it in person. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And I yeah. love it too. It's one of my favorite background fabrics. Um, well, I'll be honest, like yeah. I'm really not a grunge fan. I, yeah. I am not, I mean, I like some of it and depending on like where it's used, I think that it's, it's okay, but I'm not as crazy about it about as a lot of other people. But when mm -hmm. I saw the paper white, mm -hmm. it is nice. It's really nice. It looks, um, I mean, it's white, but it's, it, it's got this movement in it. I, I just think it's mm -hmm. really, really nice. Yeah. That and the paper gray. Those are my two favorite, like background. I don't favorites. think I've seen that one. I haven't seen Ooh, that. It's, one. it's pretty yeah. off to show it to you. Okay. Yep. Oh, already ordered. Okay, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Took my daughter to ballet this morning, and so I haven't been home. So I haven't looked at any emails or Etsy things or anything. So <laughs> be doing all that tonight. Well, we're glad that you came to sew with us. What's that? We're glad you came to sew with us. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Susan. How are you doing? Hi, Vicki. Hey, Pam. Trying to see if there's anybody else I missed. Um, I'm sorry if I say your name wrong, but Willisha, we are making a little um, project bag. It's gonna look like this out of mini charm squares and a fat quarter. You just need to sew your charm squares into um, five per row and then you're gonna make eight rows. Yep, just like Yvette's showing you. This is the five per row, and I'm in the process of sewing all my rows together. Rows together, yep. Yep. Hello, Linda Dollar. Finishing the binding on the sampler made with spring blocks from a block swap on Facebook, said Susan. Awesome. I got to finish two quilts this week, the binding on them. It was so nice to like finally get to them. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> you finally get to finish something. It feels so good, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. I know. I love that feeling. Yep. Even if it's something small, you know, yes. I feel like I finished something. That's why it's uh, nice to have these small projects every now and then. Cause you feel like you got something done. Exactly. Yes. Hi, Sandy. Sandy said she loves both of us. <laughs> oh, love you too, Sandy. Thank you. I love everybody who comes to sew with us and talk with us. It's amazing. Yep. So if you guys are going to sew along um, the spring quilt with me, my mystery quilt, or and or, because maybe you're doing both, the Fort Worth Fabric Studio, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit that, ring that bell so you can be notified when my videos go up. Shannon said, yes, finished feels amazing. Yes, it does. I've got my notification on. <laughs> Y'all are going to get a video bright and early tomorrow. So you have all Sunday to do your blocks. I figured I'd release it on Sundays because that way you'll have something to sew if you don't want to watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> do you want to know something? I had no idea it was already Super Bowl. Yeah. I, I honestly, I had no idea. I went to go, I, you know, I told you I went to go get buffalo wings for lunch. And yeah. while I was waiting for them to cook them, um, I was, you know, watching their TV or whatever. And it kept talking about the Super Bowl. And so when they handed me my food, I was like, when is the Super Bowl? And they're like, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> no, I'm funny. so lost. It's not even funny. I was just like, yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, the Cincinnati Bengals are going to be in the Super Bowl. I mean, not that I watch the Super Bowl, you know, like, like, I'm not like a huge Super Bowl fan or nothing, but I just usually I know whenever it's, you know, when they're playing. And, yeah. Yeah. So who is it? The Bengals and who else? And the Rams. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> For all of you that don't know, I'm an Ohio gal and uh, the Bengals are from Cincinnati, Ohio. So they haven't been to like any big thing since like for like 32 years. <laughs> oh my Lord. Really? So it's like a big deal. Yeah. The so mayor are all there. Yeah. The mayor in Cincinnati actually already like shut down all the schools and everything on Monday. So everybody can stay up and watch and celebrate. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Sandy said, I know, I thought we had another week before Super Bowl. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one. I feel a little better now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Camera, camera Vandal's here. Hello. 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 Kathleen Davis is here. Hello. Hello, Kathleen. Cindy Hall said, I'm working on baby quilt, eighth one since last April. Wow. Oh my Pardon? Me? I just said, oh my goodness. Oh. If you were asking me. <laughs> I was like, Susan, year out said, year of the tiger, go bangles. <laughs> Uh, Holly said, at least they are going. Detroit has never been. Well, I actually live closer to the Cleveland Browns, which there's, if most people don't realize there's two football teams in Ohio, <laughs> but the Browns are kind of like Detroit. They don't do anything. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Polly said, hanging up my so yeah order from last week to make room for more. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Sandra. Sandra Kinney said, hello, gals. I'm hand stitching my binding while watching. Awesome. Shelly Clark people does not watch sports. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people have told me that they're binding something this week. So it sounds like a lot of people are getting projects done, which is cool. That is cool. Heather Grint said, I'm beginning to wrap my head around a major paper piecing project I have going on this year. Gotta pick fabric. Cool. Awesome. What's the major project? I want to know now. You got to know me too. She's keeping us hanging. Like, yeah. uh, no. Is it like a Judy Niemeyer or something? Or we want to know. <laughs> yes, inquiring minds. Yeah. Are just nosy people, however you want. Yeah. <laughs> when somebody says inquiring minds, we're just nosy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> At least when I say it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Means I want to get all the Kool Aid. <laughs> somebody said, "What was it, Shelly Clark? That she doesn't like sports." Yeah. I actually don't mind watching like. I don't like to watch every game every week, but I don't mind watching the Super Bowl. But honestly, I'm probably going to be sewing instead. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley said, I'm making something today, too. A big mess in my sewing slash craft room. Oh. <laughs> Trying to sort and organize. <laughs> That's not hard to do. No. Mm -mm. I get mine all cleaned up and I'm like, okay, today's the day because people have been asking to see my studio. I'm going to take a video of it and then I do something and it's all messy again. <laughs> yeah. Might as well just bite the bullet and show it to a messy. Right? Yep. Oh, <laughs> Sandra said, isn't quilting a sport? Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. If, if, if uh, quilting is a sport, then I am totally into sports. Yep. Uh, hey, Linda. Linda Lovely's here. Hi, Linda. And I have been seeing that uh, Tiffany's Quilting Life is here and Teresa Louise is here. And thank you for moderating. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And they both have channels. Yep, and and I'm sitting here promoting them uh, without asking Stephanie, but I'm sure she Oh, no, that's on. fine. They're, they're sweethearts. <laughs> um, Teresa, <laughs> Teresa will be on tomorrow unless she's canceling because of the Super Bowl, which I'm sure she can tell us that in the chat. But she's on Sundays at um, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't remember what time that is her time, but that's Eastern Standard Time. So go from there. And then Tiffany's on at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Excellent. So if you don't want to watch the Super Bowl, there'll be plenty of things to watch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do I have the Nantucket fabric? No, Nantucket comes out in June or July, depending on fabric delays. Um, you probably saw it on my project bag because Moda sends their shop owners samples sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's what I use it to make is that little bag. So I just love it. It's gorgeous. I've bought um, pre-cuts and a few kits, not yardage though. I'm not buying a whole bunch of yardage. But coming soon, it'll be out summer, early summer. Yeah, that's going to be really pretty, too. I bought myself a kit. That's about all I bought. So, yeah, I saw that shopping. line yeah. and <laughs> you know me with the blues. I saw that line and I fell I in love. <laughs> that was the first thing that you and I were talking about with that uh, catalog. So I know. Yep. I was like, I'm getting some of that fabric for sure. And they were really smart to put it like on the front of the book. Yep. <laughs> and thing. to give us our the sample of it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That 
sometimes from catalogs, you can't, tell, yeah. you can't tell how pretty fabric is. Like there was a fabric line last year called Sanctuary. And I didn't really like it when I saw it in the catalog. But when I saw it in person at another quilt shop, because I didn't buy any, yeah, I fell in love with it. And I just finished. That's actually the other quilt I bound this week. Um, I just love it. It's really soft colors and it's just but it's just calming and beautiful and I never would have thought that from the catalog from the catalog right. I didn't like it so yep. yeah it's kind of nice when they give us a sample of something here or there so we can see if we like it and yeah, yeah. they gave us this one and I was like uh yes please <laughs> I mean you know the funny thing is like I've always thought and I know that it's not easy for them to do this so I get it but if they could send us like either uh, like a mini charm pack or if they take all the prints and just put them on one little you know piece of fabric that we could just kind of, kind of like see how it's going to look I think it would help shop owners to be able to you know decide what to get because because mm -hmm. it looks different sometimes it does. in yeah in print than it does like as a picture yeah. so yeah well, and there's like this love lily. I think this is even prettier in person. It is because I ordered some from you and I, and it's, I got it yesterday and it's really pretty. Okay. Yeah. It's really, yeah. really pretty. Okay, Heather said that she's doing a fractured skull quilt, that a paper oh. piecing, whatever that is. Okay. Susan Stuck said she's using mini charms from the Freya line. Oh, okay. Uh, Kate said, hi ladies. Hi Kate, Yvette, those shelves behind you are looking awesome. Thank you. I worked really hard on them. So yes, you did. <laughs> hey, Catherine Jolson. She said, hello, Yvette and Steph. Hi, Catherine. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Tiff. It's 7 p.m. Eastern Times, Tiffany's channel. I am so bad with time zone things, you guys. <laughs> Honestly, even if it's one time zone over. <laughs> Like the time I have to release my video for Fort Worth Fabric Studio because they're a different time zone. I get confused every single time. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, Tiff. 7 p.m. Eastern time for Tiff, guys. Um, Donna Rags is jo just joining. She says, cutting up my fabric from So Yes subscription box and realize you're on. And she says, hi, Yvette. Hello. Denise said, I just ordered the Love Lily fat quarter bundle from your shop. It looks gorgeous. It is. You're going to love it. This is what it looks like. It's really oh, pretty. Beautiful colors. <laughs> yes. Angela Stoutinger is here. Hi, Steph, Yvette, and everyone. Hello. Hi, Angela. So are you all done throwing your rows together? Um, no, of course not. Okay. <laughs> No worries. I never ironed my I had, fabric, so I'm going to do I that have one. Three. I okay. have three left, three rows left, and of course I haven't even selected my fat quarter bundle. And oh. I started with, I think I started sewing before you, for goodness sakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still behind. That's all right. That's all right. And here I am, like, my, 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 um, my blocks and my rows and my whatever in the heck we want to call them. They're not even straight for goodness sakes. Cause I'm trying to go so darn fast <laughs> and I still can't get ahead. That's okay. Because the fun thing about this is that once we like put it all together and wrap it around the bag, if they're not all perfect, you're not even going to notice. No, you won't. I'm, I'm not worried about it. Don't, don't get me wrong. You know me, I, however it comes yeah. out, it comes out and I still love it, but I'm yep. sitting here and going, <laughs> I'm like trying so hard to go faster. 
Yeah, that's all good. It's just not in my nature. That's all. No, nope. and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Do it at your own pace. Started early. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Tiffany said, yeah, then a totally different time when you all change time again. I will still be 5 p.m. Yep, because yes. Arizona is one of the states that doesn't change. <laughs> That's why I get all confused, Tiff. <laughs> yeah, but blame it on that. No, really, because I lived in Arizona. When I lived there, the time didn't change. But all the people that I knew that lived in other states, their time changed. I was all confused all the time. <laughs> yep. Hey, buddy. Uh, Kathleen said she just finished cutting her spring mystery quilt kit. Awesome. Yay. I'm so excited for it for tomorrow, you guys. Karen Cox said, Yvette, you're not alone sewing slow. Yep. I know. You know what? It's probably really good that there's a fast person and there's a slow person. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that the slow people have somebody to go, okay, well, Yvette's not done yet either. That's true. It's <laughs> not done. <laughs> there you go. Heather Grit said, I posted a picture of the finished quilt fractured skull, excuse me, in the Jelly Beanies group at the oh, event. Perfect. Record. So you can see it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to go check that out after we're done. Yeah. Polly said, going to use the layer of cakes I ordered for a cathedral window quilt. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Nice. Those are so gorgeous. Um, Mary Jane said, I sew for enjoyment, not to see how quickly I can get it done. Yep. I do too, whenever I'm not on camera. Yep. Yeah, that's the only reason why we're like trying to go quicker because. Yep, because you know. otherwise, believe me, I am right on board with you. Else you'll be here with us for 500 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually you guys are going to be like, aren't they done yet? <laughs> what are they doing? Like, what's taking so long? Yeah. Man. So that's the only reason why we're trying to sew a little quicker. But yeah, usually I'm not super <laughs> fast either. Well, compared to me, you are. Well, yeah, but... I don't, probably anybody I don't do it to go to super fast though. You know, it's just, yeah. I know it's just in your nature. That's how yeah. you sew. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. So once you guys finish, if that's finishing up that once you guys finish, and if you've got your fat quarter picked out, um, you need a piece bigger than the, the, um, Hold on. Like you're finished singing the bigger than this. Yeah. <laughs> so this should be it should be 10, right? Yeah, 10 by like 16. So if you do 12 by 18, or what I did is I just laid it on top of my fat quarter and just cut out like a piece that's bigger so we have space to quilt it. And then this is what I had left over from my fat quarter. So I'm gonna use this to um make the little tabs on the side of the bag. So my inside and my tabs are gonna match. Okay, and I got one more to, sign, to sew on. Okay, and if you guys are to that point where you've got the top done or the outside done and you've got your fat quarter cut down, you can take your excess fabric and cut two two and a half by three inch pieces that we're gonna use for the tabs. Which, I don't have my little ruler over here. I'm gonna go grab my ruler. Uh-oh, no uh -oh. ruler. Uh-oh, Piscadios, oh, Piscadios. I totally remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly said she's working on a paint by number today. Cool. Oh, nice. That sounds fun. Wanda Marsh said, any advice for keeping kittens off countertops? Two kittens found me in the park. They are agents of chaos. 
Well, don't ask me because I let my cats do whatever they want. So yeah, I have no, nothing to say. (laughs) (laughs) My cats are allowed anywhere in my house because it's their house too. That's just my opinion. So I'm sure somebody has something that they can offer. Yeah. Because not everybody's like me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, WM YouTube said I had to order your kit for Secret Garden when I saw those happy fabric colors. I picked those colors because it is dark and gray in Ohio in winter. And I was like, I just need some springy, bright colors. <laughs> what did you choose? I picked um, the dots, spots, but I did it like aqua, okay, yellow, yeah, well- like grass green, purple or lilac or lavender, I guess. That's what I thought. Yeah. I remember if I'm remembering the right thing or not. Um, okay, cool. Yes. Okay, let's see. I'm so close to being done. I can like taste it. Tamar, oh, you're fine. Tamara said, excited about the secret garden mystery quilt. So a long pattern is available tomorrow. Question? Yes. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to have the video up and the link um, to the PDF download of the pattern of the first block where I'm giving you a block a week. Um, and if you've already downloaded the cutting instructions and the, and, or the fabric requirements, if you didn't purchase a kit, um, the blocks are going to be on the same page where you found those on my website. But I'll have that linked in my video tomorrow too. So you don't have to go like searching for it. Oh, somebody said if you put um, foil on your counters that they don't like the sound that they'll, they won't go up there for kitty cats. Hmm. I don't, I don't think true with my cats. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think that's true with my cats because we've had foil up there before and they play with it. <laughs> exactly. I've, been, I've, you know what? I have heard that actually, because my grandparents would keep like this, uh, old, uh, like pie tin above their cars so that, you know, the, but honestly, like every cat I've ever had, that's never worked. So hmm. I'm not really sure. Okay, let me real quick pick a fat quarter. Let's see. Yeah, go for it. You gotta do like a. This is gonna be um, like the lining. Is that what this is? Yeah, the lining and like okay. the little tabs. The so kind of color coordinate. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Stir said, "Is anyone doing a sew along for the new Cotton Cuts mystery quilt?" Yeah, they have. Um, Cotton Cuts has a bunch of people that do that. Um, if you check out. The Cotton Cuts Facebook group, it says it, they have a lot of people. Um, the off kilted crafter, Ian, he does it, but there's so many people. I can't even remember all the people, but a lot of people, a lot of people do that. Well, I know that I'm doing like an ocean theme, but I think I might use this really cute. Oh, wait, let me look at this. Nancy Guest said, spray them with a water bottle. Oh, okay. They have also been on top of my stove. That is not good. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, if this is a fat quarter, maybe I can do this. Oh, wait, this is pretty. What do y'all think about like this gingham? Is it matching the pink or is it not matching the pink? From here, it looks like it's matching. That's pretty. Like it would be okay? Yes. To go with? I, I love it. Okay. Let's see, what, let's see what they say. Okay. I'll start what do you guys think? a little bit and you tell me what they say. Okay. <laughs> I think it's pretty. Oh, I have a half yard. <laughs> 
Tiffany said, let the cats get fat like mine and no more counter jumping. <laughs> That's hilarious, Tiff. I don't know. My, well, I have one that's a little rotund and he still goes up there. <laughs> <laughs> Although not as often. I do have to give him that. <laughs> yeah. And it's usually just whenever he's trying to give food. So yeah, there you go. So Polly said her kittens are 10 months old and think they own the whole apartment. Well, they yep. probably do. Crystal Lewis says, hi, everybody. Hello there. Terry said, sorry, can you go through what cuts I need to do on the fat quarter, please? Yes, sure. Um, so I would cut your fat quarter 12 by 18. So that way it's bigger than your top, which should be 10 by 16. Um, and then you'll have enough left to make the tabs that we're going to put on the outside of the bag. And you need, for those, you need two three inch by two and a half inch rectangles. Um, yes, they're saying really pretty. Yes, pretty. Love it. Awesome. So I think they like it. Yes to the gingham. Uh, Natalie said, kick them. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm really joking. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you'd have to be pretty limber. Uh -huh. Joyce said, your cat's not fat enough then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, don't tell, don't let me hear that for, and the vet would kill me if I let him get much fatter. Right. <laughs> BJ7481 said, hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Marsha Turner said, hi, Stephanie and Yvette, I'm a little late to the live stream. That's all right. Glad you're here. Hello. Okay, I'm cutting my piece. Oh, Crystal Lewis said she's allergic to cats. Oh, that's sad. I know, that is sad. Anytime people tell me that, I'm like, oh. Yeah. I'm you're not allergic to dogs, too, because they need to have some kind of pet. <laughs> Pets are just so nice to have, I think. Yeah. Okay, you said 12 inches by 18 inches. So this is. Yes, ma'am. Scooch that a little bit. And if you all are caught up and done with that piece, you can also cut your stabilizer, whether you're using flex foam or soft and stable, or if you're just using bedding, which is fine as well, it's just not going to stand up as much by itself. It still might a little bit, but it might squish down a bit. Um, you can also cut that to about the same size as your backing, or maybe even a little bit bigger. Okay. Sure, no problem, Shannon. The um, tab size again was two and a half by three inches, and you're going to want two of those. That's what I'm cutting right now. Two and a half by three. Whoop. Tracy Albert said, same here. My son and I are allergic to animals. Oh, oh. That stinks. It does stink. You're right. You are right when you are right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three inch by two and a half inch. Oh, Sherry Fisher's here. She said, made it busy day today. Glad to have you here. Very happy. I'm the disembodied voice across the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm pressing my little pads. And I'm Yvette's gone. Yvette's gone invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my invisibility cloak on. Nobody can there see. There you me. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to cut my, uh, I keep telling you guys to cut all this stuff and I didn't cut my interfacing. <laughs> well, I definitely didn't do that yet. That's still in the package. <laughs> I'm going to come over here and do that. <laughs> okay. Tiff said, I'm hungry, but I'll be listening while I hunt some kind of food. Yes, you go eat, girl. Go eat. Practically Creative is here. Hi there. Hello. Okay, so I need to cut my soft and sable as well. Yes. Is that the same size as um, 
my fat quarter piece. Yeah, you could cut it the same size as that. Yep. Okay. That'll work. Be right back. That shouldn't take but a second. I was really surprised that I had this actually. In fact, I've had it for so long, you should see it's got like little brown spots on it. Like of this section over here. I was like, oh really? Oh, actually, it's about the same size as this. I'm not even gonna cut it. Here we go. Cool. I mean, it's a little bit bigger. Who cares, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine because you could just trim it all the way anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, cool. Now, um, to make it a little easier, if you like basting spray, I know some people don't like it, so you don't have to do this, but you could baste spray the top onto your soft and stable or fusible or whatever you're using and um, spray, of course, the backing too onto the flip side. It is sticking by itself. Yeah, it kind of does a little bit on the soft yeah. table. Yeah, it kind of yeah. does. So. Oh, Practically Creative said, I just had the best day, got to meet two grandbabies that have been born since the current plague. Oh, yay. Yes. That is a good day. Maze balls day. Hey, are you going to put like a label in yours? Nah, this is for Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't care about that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to put one. She'll be like, I know who made that. <laughs> I've been trying to like remember to put labels on stuff because I always forget, you know, yeah. like I've been trying to get better about putting them on my quilts. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like I, I, I like always forget something to somebody, like if I'm doing a swap or whatever and I forget. Yep. I need to order some more though, because I, I love the ones from, um, uh, Sweetwater. Yep. Labels. Um, but I did the sanctuary quilt that I finished this week, I looked through my labels and I didn't have one that I liked to kind of go with it. So I want to order some more like neutral ones because most yeah. of mine are like seasonal. Right, right. I'm actually going to leave this. I have this teal dark teal thread. I'm just going to leave that in there, I think, because it actually looks really good with this fabric. Well, I'm sure with that C fabric. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to change it, but I'm like, no, forget it. I'm going to, I think I want to change my needle though. I'm going to do that real quick while you're putting Brian. it on. Yeah. Because that just takes a second. Do, 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 do. Well, that wasn't really smart. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> I started like, I'm like, why is this fabric fighting me? It doesn't want to lay down on this 505 because usually it sticks no problem. Yeah. Well, that's because I was fighting the way I uh, ironed it. <laughs> ah, I got you. I was you. like pushing it the opposite way of the way I ironed it. I'm like, oh. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that wasn't very smart. <laughs> okay, so are we, we're quilting then? Is that yep, what we're saying? So now we're just going to quilt it. You can do whatever you want, cross hatch, straight line, echo. I'm not gonna get fancy. I'm not gonna free motion this because I don't have my free motion foot on my machine. I'm just gonna straight line it, probably actually just in the ditch. I'm gonna stitch in the ditch. I'm gonna, since I have this thread, I'm gonna go like an eighth of an inch away from the ditch. Yeah. Uh, Mary Baldazin is here. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Finding my Fort Worth Fabric Studio project. She's too afraid of zippers. Aw, I promise zippers aren't bad. They really aren't. And we show you, well, Stephanie shows you the real easy way to do it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Crystal Lewis said, Stephanie, did you see what my son said? I, sorry, I don't think I did. Uh, 
Kathleen Davis said, I've always wanted to try that stuff that comes in the shaker can. I wonder how well it works. I think it works great. My project's not moving. <laughs> so I love 505. Now, a lot of people like that Bow Nash fusible too, because it's not a spray, but um, there are some basting sprays that I find that are really heavy um, and they bother me, but this one doesn't. Smudgy? Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Before we started, I gave them a, a, like a really good snack, like a big, little pouches of bisque. I mean, it's not like they're <laughs> starving. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like full on crying. Oh, I know, right? You're making me feel bad. Like I like I'm starving the poor cat. Aww. Smudgy, where are you, buddy? Well, I can tell from looking at him that you do starve them, but you know. I know. I I, <laughs> I should not be allowed to have cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Karen Neville said, hello from Victoria, Australia. Tresco, Victoria, Australia. Hello there. Hello from Australia. Sherry Fisher said, where's a good place to get smaller labels? I get all my labels from Sweetwater Label. Yeah, I mean, you can get smaller. They have smaller ones. Mm -hmm. They have all different sizes. Marie Han said, um, hi, Stephanie, everyone. Hello there. Hello. Oh, uh, Christian Jonas said, sorry, fat quarter pieces again. Had to stop selling and find a pen and paper. Yeah, no problem. Um, the fat quarter you want to cut to 12 by 18 for your backing. And... Um, from the leftover cut two, two and a half by three inch rectangles for the tabs that are gonna go on the bag. Joyce Hernandez said, I can put a zipper on easier than I can bind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think zippers are too hard, but they are intimidating. I know the first time I did one, I was like, uh, I can't well, do I, this. You know what though? It's because people, tell you that they're that there's hard I yeah. think if no one ever told you then you would follow the instructions and you would be like yep got it no problem yep I agree well, I agree I think it's because everyone makes them sound like they're so hard yep but they're not they're not at all uh Donna Ritchie is here she said hi Steph in a bed hey there hello and Nancy Gus is here she said Hey, Hi, Stephanie Vet. Sorry I'm late. I took a nap and just woke up. You're fine, sweetheart. Girl, you take your nap. We all need naps now and then. Yeah. No doubt. Um, Rhonda McMangle is here from northern Minnesota. She's trying to stay warm. Oh, my goodness. It's warm over here. I mean, for, you know, for like the northeast. It was like 50, like mid fifties today. We were like 47, like two days ago. Then yesterday it cooled off a little bit and today it's back in the twenties. Ah. I mean, um, literally like I was, I was going around like this. This is how I brought boxes to the post office. <laughs> well, you do get hot carrying all those boxes. <laughs> Well, I admit, well, I had so many. I put them in a wagon, actually. So, yeah. Um, Janet Johnson is here from Western Australia. Hi, <laughs> Janet. Oh, Rowena said she got the jelly roll of Sanctuary and she loves it. Yes. Sanctuary is so pretty. It was unexpected. I did not expect to love it as much as I did. I fell in love with it. So I'll have to get that quilt and show you guys before we're done. Yeah, I'm going to have to take another look now. Everybody yeah. going on and on. Uh, 
because I don't even think I remember sanctuary. I didn't either because it didn't like stick in my head when we yep. had to order because you know it just didn't seem like it was something we would like. Oops. <laughs> Got to knock a big thing of pins on the floor. That wouldn't have been fun. Uh, Marie said. I got here late, Yvette. How did you do with your friend? Did you get a lot accomplished? We finished everything. I was trying not to <laughs> take over Stephanie's, you know, live here, um, but we finished all the orders. So I feel so completely amazeballs right now. And Doesn't she um, look awesome? She looks so relaxed. And I have to tell, I, I know that, you know, I was trying to like keep it, you know, quiet or whatever, but... Sherry Geyer, thank you so much for coming over and helping me. I am so eternally grateful because I feel so much better right now. Like, I feel like I can actually do something I want to do. I'm able to do this and I feel like I'm not, you know, going to finish and then have to run and I'm behind the A-ball again. I can just do it because I want to do it. And yeah. I, I thank you so much, Sherry. So awesome. Uh, oh, hi, Sean. The guy who sews is here. He said, naps are golden. I agree. <laughs> June Covey says, just curious, do you guys put your labels on when you do the top or when you put the backing on with the date? Because I made a bunch of tops years ago. So I was curious. So I don't put dates on mine. Um, I know they say you should, but I get my labels without dates. Because I used to get them with dates thinking I was going to use them that year. And then if I didn't finish something, I had all these labels that I couldn't use. But I stick the label on when I do, when I long arm quilt it. I actually, um, I have both. Because, you know, sometimes maybe I want to put a date on, but most of the time I don't. And I sew them on like when I'm doing my, um, like if I do the quilting, then I'll do that. Um, if not, either I will sew something onto the backing before I send it to the long armor, or I will just make sure that I put it down like in the bottom left or bottom right or something like that. And I just, as you know, either I will hand sew it on so it doesn't go through to the front or, um, or I just sew it on to the front and I try to use like an invisible sort of bobbin. And yeah, that's what I do. Uh, Karen Diard said it's 81 today and sunny. Very nice. I don't know that I agree with the 81 bit, <laughs> but that's just me. I, I wish it were cooler here. It got warm and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> you can have ours then. I'll blow it your way because it's okay. Yeah, I just saw the thing pop up with a new temperature. It's 23 right now. Well, it is winter, you know? I mean, yeah. When it's winter, yeah, it's still winter for a, a bit yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually really, Sarah today, she was saying, my daughter, Sarah, she was saying she was ready for summer. And I was like, no, I don't want to skip spring. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't like the super hot of summer, but I love spring and autumn. Yeah. Because it's sunny again. We get out of this gray and I don't know. Everything's just really pretty. So, oops. Do you know that your video went away? Yeah, my cord okay. came out. That's how I'm fixing. Sorry, guys. Oh, no, you're fine. I just wanted to make sure you uh, noticed. That's all. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I hit. I hit something over here. So 
I'm working on it. <laughs> well, we like the, the problem is travel. like probably most people's uh, spaces. I just have too much junk over here. <laughs> yep. I understand too much junk. <laughs> out. <laughs> it's really not junk though, to be honest. It's like, cause I organize it's projects and stuff, but there's too many of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. For what happened? <laughs> you still can't figure it out. Well, let me see if I can try to get it back. Sorry, you guys. There we go. Oh, there you are. Yay. Yay. Oh, Rhonda McMangle said it is negative three. Holy Crystal cow. Lewis, I know. Crystal Lewis said it was negative 19 um, this morning in her place. Wow. Wow. Tambra said, thank you. Received my kit yesterday in the mail, and I just saw the link for the PDF cutting instructions. I know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Yay. Harry said, thank you so much for doing this project. Of course. Joyce said she has the fat eighth bundle of sanctuary and she loves it. Hey guys, sorry I'm late, said Laura Beach. I totally have the pieces cut to do two of these bags. Something came up, I'll not, and I'm not able to sew along. I'll, will the video be available tomorrow? Yes, anytime we do a live, the video is available as soon as we're done. So if you don't finish and you need to go back and watch a part that we worked on something, you can always go do that. And that's true for any of our live videos. Yep. So if you're watching a vet and she's paper piecing and she explained something and you have a question, you can go back and watch it later. Or one of these lives where we make a little project. Yep. Hey, Kim. Kim Burris is here. Hi, Kim. Trying to get down to the bottom. I missed a lot when I was uh, trying to figure out what I unplugged. <laughs> Karen said her AC is on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've got my little, I had to turn my heater off because you guys, it makes noise and you guys would hear it, but I have my heat on. <laughs> The guy who says that so said I need to start putting labels on my quilts. I always forget until it's too late. Yeah, I always forgot. And I just started lately remembering. Yeah, I think that's why it's like, uh oh, my tread broke. <laughs> or I wonder if I ran out of thread. I hope not. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me because it wasn't a very uh, big, oh, that's what happened. Oh, poopy do. I don't think I have this color either. Oh, no. I know, right? Because here yeah. I was using that that pretty blue. Yeah. Oh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is kind of, oh, kind of, but not really. Well, maybe this one. This one's probably closest. I'll do this one. I don't think you'll be able to notice. At least I hope not. And this is a full one. It's a little, little bolt, a little spool, but it's, it's brand new. Hadn't been used yet. Now, if you're faster than us and you've already like quilted your whole thing, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> you'll want to trim it just to the edge of your, uh, of your top. 
I'm not there yet. Yeah, if somebody beat you to it, I'm I'm impressed. <laughs> well, if Tiffany was so and she'd be done. I've heard that about Tiffany. She's amazingly fast. Like, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying so hard to get this darn thing re-threaded that I'm like throwing everything around. <laughs> I'm already I'm talking so about the weather and how cold it is. Oh, Pat Strahouse said they have extreme cold warning for tonight, predicting negative 30 in uh, Ontario. Whew. That's cold. I'm not trying to lower the presser foot. I'm trying to thread my darn needle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where was I? <laughs> trying to find my spot. <laughs> Jelly bean, you're supposed to warn me. You're supposed to be, mom, you're almost at the end. I know you have like that ESP. <laughs> okay well i was trumping too all right here we go I'm trying not to whack you. Said, it's a beautiful day in Connecticut today. Nice. Yeah, it is, actually. Yesterday was really nice, too. I just wish it were colder. But it's yeah. okay. It's all right. It's not like it's hot. It's not like it's 81, like somebody else yeah. was talking about. No, that was Karen from Florida. She was saying it's 81 and California is like 80. Somebody said, I think 83. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So how are you quilting yours? I'm just doing the, uh, can you see? Because it's. Dark. Oh yeah. Oh, cute. Yep. Oh, just a little yeah, off. The line. This happened on the bottom because of the running out of things. So I have to clean that up. Oh, <laughs> but I will when I get down there. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> and it's like, I'm trying to go really fast. Plus I have a cat on the other side of my project. So my lines are getting crooked because I'm trying to move the darn thing. So don't hit the cat. And yeah, so it's, but it's lovely. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> oh, okay. Teresa Louise is ready. She said, what do we cut it down to after quilted? I'm ready. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm awesome. going a million miles an hour. Okay, Teresa, so you're just going to trim it right to the edge of your charm squares. So just trim down each side and trim across the top and bottom. So trim all that excess off. Fix this back here. Got to find my ruler so I can trim. See if I can do this sitting down. I get much better cutting results when I'm standing up, but. Well, I was going to do the, you know, like cross hatch, like go across again, but maybe I shouldn't because everybody's done. <laughs> you do whatever you want. All right. I'm going to try to go really fast. At least we know I'm already done running out of thread. <laughs> oh, there, check my bobbin. Oh, my bobbin's okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> I was like, before I speak too soon here. So I knew I didn't have very much soft and stable, so I bought some of the Pellin uh, Flex Foam today. Yeah. Which is similar. Um, but I'll tell you, there's definitely a uh, height difference. Oh. Like the Pellin is thicker. Really? So we're going to see how this goes. Well, Lord, because <laughs> this, because the soft and stable is pretty thick, I thought. I know. 
and yeah. this is a little bit thicker so we'll see oh, how this yeah. ends up being this might be a real thick bag <laughs> <laughs> okay cool i can't wait to see at least Hmm. Oh, Wanda says she's still sewing her squares together. That's all right. I saw my name in orange. You what? <laughs> I saw my name in orange, so I had to look oh. up. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this as well, this soft and stable. I don't think I'm going to get this again. Yeah. Yeah, it's harder to cut. Mm. Hopefully it at least turns out okay for Sarah. Oh yeah, she won't care. She'll just be happy to have something. Eek. I went crooked again. <laughs> I'm going to do this again. It's obviously something I need to have more concentration on. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's my bag. And I am going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she fell in love with this fabric and she was like, Mommy, give me a charm pack. I'm like, no, I'm putting those in my shop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told her I'd make something for her out of this mini charm, so that worked. There you go. So she's not going to care. Maybe back. I just need a new bleed. Maybe that's my problem. Well, and you're sitting down too. That, like you said, that's it's yeah. kind of awkward. I feel like it's harder to cut sitting down. Yeah, I I agree. You have like more control when you're standing. I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Joy said she's still sewing squares too. Okay. Let's see. I need to go back up and I've missed a lot, I think. Quilting in Romania said, I'm waiting for groceries at the store pickup. I feel like you've been at the airport. <laughs> Hi, Elena. <laughs> and go back and uh, the guy who so said I love making t-shirt quilts I need to finish the quilt top one that I'm making for our bed cool. Nancy Leventer said the mama dog that I may be getting my new oh little baby from maybe delivering her babies today ah uh... Tiffany is sitting in the sun, sunbathing right now. Good for you. <laughs> and we're all like, it's so cold. I know. <laughs> well, she is in the desert. <laughs> true. I mean, it's true. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie Smith said she's opening her So Yeah package that her has the Edita Sitar Moonstruck fabric they used for a kit. Awesome. 
<laughs> Heather said, that's how I feel basking in front of the space heater. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Okie dokie. Oops. Really, dude. Uh, the guy who so said, I agree. I cut sitting when it's simple and small, but stand for most things as it's easier. Yeah, it's really hard to sit and cut, I think. His name is Sean. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Janet said, how's the quilt going for your daughter, Steph? It's um, not going too far, but... <laughs> And that's okay she she won't care when she gets it but i'm gonna try to work on it this next week um i had a lot i had a lot going on this this week so i didn't get to so much except do a couple bindings so so mine's all trimmed up and ready so when oh, event is done then we will move on i will actually go get the quilt the sanctuary quilt since a couple of people mentioned that they like the sanctuary fabric while we're waiting. So I can show you guys. I'm sorry, everybody, but oh, you do get fine. to see the quilt. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so slow, you do get to see the sanctuary quilt. <laughs> you gotta find which bit it's in. <laughs> that can take a while. You probably won't be able to tell so much that it's all crooked. Once it's a bag, you're not going to notice. Be right back, Yvette. Okie dokie. Go grab it. Y'all, I'm not going to be able to look at the chat, otherwise, I'll never finish this. I'm almost done though. Do, do, do. I have like a paper cut on one of my fingers and every time I go to move the, the thing or whatever, it, it pulls the skin back that it's healing, but it's like, I can feel it. So I'm going to have to go and get like a, uh, you know, those nail clipper things and just kind of clip it myself so it stops getting caught on everything <laughs> it's kind of annoying all right I think if they're going to be, if you're going to be able to see that the lines are crooked, it's mostly because of the soft and stable because it's, it helps your stitches to pop. That's the only downside to soft and stable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, honestly, that's the only reason that you can even tell that my lines are not straight. Of course, they're not straight because I keep hitting the cat. <laughs> That's funny. But he doesn't mind. He doesn't move at all. <laughs> as long as he doesn't mind. No, nope, he doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, here's my sanctuary quilt. Oh my goodness. And this is the backing on it. I just love it. Oh, wow. What are those? Because I can't tell from back here. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it closer. Okay, cool. The roses. Oh. You know, it, it really is pretty. It really is. Oh, wow. That quilted roses on it. I don't know if you can see those. Um, I can't because I'm over here trying to trim my threads real quick. 
Yeah. So that's my sanctuary quilt. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love it. Did they have that pattern or is, did you find that somewhere? Or is that your pattern? Um, no, uh, the quilt shop I bought it from had it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> go trim this down real quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. All right, let's see. Oh, thanks, Shannon. Y'all are too kind. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Becca. Becca's here. She said dibs. Nope. You can't have it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, March Ann said, just came in. I got to see a beautiful quilt. Oh, thanks. Hello, hello. Oh, Susan, that's your favorite fabric collection of all time. It's so just calming and peaceful. I love this fabric. I agree with you. Yeah, that's the sanctuary fabric. So I know a few of you said you had um, sanctuary and love it. So that was my... Uh, that was my sanctuary quilt. I just bound that guy on Thursday. That one in my winter forest quilt that I posted on Facebook. Okay. I got it done. It's a miracle. <laughs> the, the fabric on that quilt is Sanctuary by Moda. It's really pretty. It came out last spring. Um, and if you weren't here earlier, Yvette and I were talking about that, that some of the fabric lines that when they come in the catalog, you don't really like them because they don't, but when you see them in person, then you're like, oh, I should have bought that. They're gorgeous. And this was one of those. So I bought fabric from a fabric shop in Tennessee um, last summer and put it together. Finally, finally got around to it. <laughs> Hi, Susan. I see Susan O'Neill Smith says, hello, at Diavette Renee. <laughs> That's all my orange name. <laughs> um, Stephanie, I can't remember the name of the quilt pattern. I'd have to find it. It's somewhere in my stash. But Susan says she hoarded a lot of that fabric. <laughs> Hmm. I think I need to change my thread. Thank you, MJ. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So let's see. I don't know what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all discombobulated. Okay. okay. I should use this. All right. So you have your top all done? Yep. All right. So we're gonna make the little pole or the um little tabs. So you should have a rectangle that looks something like this, two and a half by three inches. You're gonna fold it in towards the middle. So fold it in like this, kind of like bias tape, and then fold it in on itself again, and then iron all this. Oh, thank you, Christine. That was so sweet. She gave me $4.99. Oh, and I gave her some great advice about thread tension and it worked. Oh, good. I'm glad. So again, you're going to take your piece and you're going to fold one side in, the other side in, so they join in the middle. And then fold them together again to make a little strip like this. And then iron that all in place. Once you've got those all folded in and ironed, we're gonna stitch just about an eighth of an inch down each side, just to hold everything together. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm glad I helped you. That's good. I like it when I can help people. That's really nice to hear, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Catherine said, I just unpacked the last of my soya box. OMG, I better be just watching tonight. I'm like a size 14 trying to fit into a size four. with all the fabric. <laughs> yeah, it can be easy to like get carried away on Soya. <laughs> Hi, Mary. So I've stitched down both sides. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to do that on both pieces. After they're both ironed, stitch down both pieces. Oh, good, Christine. She said she was able to free motion an entire quilt today because she fixed her tension. Awesome. Oh, wow. Very nice. I'm glad to hear that. That is good news. Now, after you've got them stitched down both sides, we're gonna fold them in half. So we have like a loop and I'm just gonna iron it right at the top of the loop just to keep it in half. What size is a mini charm pack as I'm going to make this from a stash? So you'll need 40 two and a half inch squares if you don't have a mini charm square or a mini charm pack. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Crystal said she loves watching you and your creativity to both of us. That's very sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. If you guys are all caught up, probably Teresa Louise is. <laughs> if anybody else is, go ahead and get your zipper ready because that'll be the next step that we're doing. Oh. Teresa said, I'm gonna have to finish later. Gotta go lay down for a while. Feel better, Teresa. Hi, sweetie. Have a good nap. Susan said, I can't sew today. Is this pattern in your shop? Nope. You just kind of got to, the fabric requirements are on my 
website, stephaniesdeskstitches.com, and that is in the description box below. Um, but the pattern is, you just have to follow along. You can come back and watch later. Uh, Brenda said, secret garden fabric is starched. Yay, awesome. Okay, I'm caught up. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Nella said, what size zipper? Okay, so. Oh, zipper, right. Got you it. can probably use one. I have an 11 inch zipper here. And honestly, the, I wouldn't use anything smaller than 11 inch zipper. I really wouldn't because if, if you can see, here's my project and here's the zipper and it just goes off the sides and you want a little bit. So you have room. So, all right. So we're going to take, um, your project top and you're going to take your zipper. This is the right side of the zipper. This is the wrong side. You want the wrong side out. So the right side of the zipper is going to be against the pretty side of your fabric. So the printed fabric. Does that make sense? Yep. And then clip this. If you have wonder clips, that would be the best way to do it. Um, across the top. And we're going to sew on this zipper tape all the way down as close to the zipper as you can get. Now, if you have a zipper foot, you can probably get right next to it. I have a zipper foot for this machine, but I have to unscrew the foot that I have on here. So I'm not going to do that, but I can get fairly close with this foot on. But make sure your zipper is right side down against your fabric. And then we're going to sew right up here, right next to the zipper, but not on the zipper. <laughs> you don't want to break your needle. And I would backstitch. That's my personal preference when I'm doing a zipper just to hold it better. And you're not going to see these stitches on this side, so they don't have to look Pretty, pretty. So the edge of my foot right now, I wish I had a camera to show you guys, is um, right up against that zipper. And it it's a little bit less than a quarter inch where my stitches are coming out at. Away from the zipper. Joanna said, I spent way too much money last Saturday on So Yeah. I got both the Batik and regular scrap bags, the Cap Fat Quarter Bundle and One Yard Bundles. Made me feel really guilty that I never sold. <laughs> okay, so I got my zipper on. And as you can see, it's attached up here. It's not going anywhere. So as soon as Yvette's done, I'll show you guys what to do next. Done. Awesome. Oh, you have a super long zipper. That's cool. I know. <laughs> it's overkill. Oh, that's good. I, I feel like this is actually almost a little bit too short because it scares I just, me. That I buy like 22 inch and then that way I could use it for uh, whatever. Yep. No, that's a good idea. So I don't have to have like a hundred thousand different sizes and stuff. I yeah. just a really big one, then you're all set. <laughs> no, that's perfect. And these are um not metal, they're what nylon? They're nylon. Yeah. yeah. 
because it I wouldn't so I wouldn't recommend sewing through a metal zipper guys. <laughs> yeah. So next idea. thing we're going to do is we're going to flip this zipper up like this and we're going to iron this so it stays kind of up in place. And after you iron, we're going to come back and top stitch right on the top of the fabric. So you're catching the zipper underneath to keep it where it's supposed to be. I'm ironing up in the front and I'm ironing the zipper down in the back. So it lays down on the, on across the back of your project. I'm talking to my sewing machine. So I've got my, uh, my zipper ironed up and I'm just going to top stitch right on the fabric, like an eighth of an inch away from the edge to keep that zipper where it needs to go or where it needs to be. Won't the zipper melt? No, because I'm not, I'm not leaving the iron on it for that long. I've never had a zipper melt. Have you? I no, I've never had a zipper melt. Mm -mm. I think your zipper would probably have to be like in the ring of fire to melt. I don't yeah. Know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but I've never had it happen. So. Yeah, I've, I've never had that happen. That's stitched. You probably can't see the stitching, but it's stitched just right along the edge. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So I now bring in your <laughs> Bring the bottom of the front of your bag up towards the top and clip it up here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sew. Well, here's this around the other side. We're going to sew across the zipper. And you still have the openings. So you don't have to worry about the zipper being open because you can stick your hand in there because it's a big enough bag. See, I can see through it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we're going to sew right across here. And then we'll um, unzip it, flip it out, and top stitch it. So again, I brought that up to up here. I'm going to make sure that the sides match up. And I'm going to clip it right in the middle. And then we're going to sew that zipper right onto there. Again, as close as you can get to the zipper. Must have put mine on quick. Now you should have something that looks like this. 
Okay. Now you can unzip your zipper. Did you sew yours already? Yeah. Why do I not hear your machine? <laughs> and I'm going to flip this inside out so I can top stitch this or iron and top stitch this side that we haven't done yet. Well, I had accidentally tipped mine a little crooked, so I had to redo that. Oh, okay. That happens. Yep. I don't know what it is. Well, now it's doing it again. What the heck? I just, okay, you know what? I'm just going to start this side and we'll see what happens. All right. Because if I unpin this again, y'all going to be so far ahead of me, it's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of mess with it as I go. Yeah. Look, it'll be fine. It's my bag. <laughs> it'll be fine. It's, it's all fine. fine. <laughs> We're not selling it. We're not putting it a show. It's all good. Nope. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I've got that ironed. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing I did on the other side and top stitch right on the edge of the fabric. It's a little trickier because you got a zipper now there. Like not a loose end. But we can do it. to look like a bag. Oh, Natalie said she just joined a guild. Awesome. I know, baby. If you're not going to starve. I know it's been a couple hours. <laughs> I can't step on my project, baby.
Okay. I got my top stitching done. What are y'all doing? <laughs> oh, you're fine. I haven't said anything else yet. I was waiting. Okay, for good. Oh my yeah. God. I'm just drawing what we have to do next. Oh, I didn't catch my darn thing. Oh, jeez. Hold up. All right. They're going, what is it doing? I didn't catch the <laughs> thing whenever I sewed the... I didn't catch the zip, the other side of the zipper tape. That's what oh, I did. Yeah. And I was like, why is it flopping all over the place? <laughs> I better check the other side. I wonder if I got that one wrong too. I'll just sew right on top. Okay, so if you all are done putting your zipper in, grab your favorite marking tool, whether that's a friction pen or water soluble and a ruler that will measure a quarter, one and a quarter inches. Grab that and a pair of sharp scissors. I don't think a rotary cutter would work for this point. So for this part. Oh, Donna said, I hope the cold weather kills off the ticks. Okay, whatever. I'm just moving on. Okay, marking tool. Where is my marking tool? There it is. Harry said, Natalie, you have to donate $1,000 to Sobeka to join. <laughs> Okay, I missed what we were doing with the. No, you're fine. I just had everybody gather that. Grab it. Okay. Yep. Yep. So it's really hard to see because I have purple fabric and I didn't think about that. But we're going to do one and a quarter inch squares mark with your pen. Can you see that? Yep. A little bit on each corner, all four corners. So at the top, and the bottom, all four corners. One and a quarter inch. One and a quarter inch. I have nothing to measure with right here. <laughs> <laughs> but that can be remedied. <laughs> and I would recommend some sharp scissors to cut these because if you rotary cut, you'll probably cut past the one and a quarter inch. It's really hard to do that when you're okay. cutting out little squares. Okay. Go, Jelly Bean, go somewhere, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, there you go. Go get Daddy to get you a snack. Oh, Daddy's not here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <Okay>. No. <laughs> there we go. One and a quarter. One and a quarter. And then cut it. And then cut it. Yep. All, all the way through. So you're going to have a notch like this on all four sides. Okay. All four corners, I should say. 
Oh, all four corners. Yep. Where? What? What am I doing? I think I'm doing something wrong then. No, you're fine. You're going to do it bottom right and left and top right and left. And you were cutting that? Yeah. We should have oh, cut the top okay. before we put the zipper in, but I totally skipped ahead. So I'm sorry. Oh, okay. But yeah. He can make I it work. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Okay. Yeah. No worries. Just make sure you guys that if you're with us, make sure that you have your zipper in the middle before we cut the top corners or you're going to cut your zipper off. Right. We should have cut those first. I'm sorry. I totally was like excited to get the bag going and I forgot to cut those corners. It is okay. But we'll make it work. I, just was, I was making sure I was hearing you right because I was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the bottom two quarters you don't cut until now, but the top we should have done before we did the zipper. And I was wondering why my zipper was a little bit, seemed like it was too short. That's why, because we should have cut the batches, but we can make it work. Uh, okay. Let's see. What am I doing here? My zipper's flying all over the place. Okay, there it goes. I want to put it in a bit. All right. Where's my okay. little hippie do go? Oh. So I've got my two bottoms notched out. This is how we're going to box our corners to make it stand up. We're going to do the same thing at the top two corners. Okay, quarter. So there you guys can see I have my bottom two corners and I have my top left corner. So I'm going to do the right one and I'll be done doing corners. Like I said, make sure that zipper is right in the middle. Don't cut your zipper off. <laughs> then you're going to have to start. You're going to take your zipper out and start all over. That's no fun. You'll really be behind. Yeah. <laughs> you got to rip your zipper out. Yeah. <laughs> that won't be any fun. Make sure you have real sharp scissors. You can cut right through that zipper. Not a problem. I just snipped right through it. Okay. So I have my top two notches, and my bottom two notches cut out. So you should look like this. Hi, Anne. My dog tail. <laughs> Lori said, you can put the zipper pull back on if you accidentally cut it off. You just need a fork. Don't ask me how I know. 
<laughs> Hi, Marla. Yep, one and a quarter inch from the top of the bag, one and a quarter inch from the bottom, all four corners. Yep, perfect. Yay. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna sew down both sides a quarter of an inch. And if you have a zigzag, you can do zigzag. I only have a straight stitch machine and that's what I did for my other bag and it was just fine. Because it's foam, and everything's inside, it's not, the foam's not gonna fray. And I already stitched down my fabric to my foam. So um, I'm not gonna worry about it, but if you wanna make it look a little nicer, you can zigzag it, but I'm just gonna straight stitch a quarter inch down each of these sides right here, these outside pieces. Don't worry about the quarters just yet. We're gonna get to that after we straight, or after we stitch down the sides. Okay, so your bag should look like this now. Stitch down both sides so there's no more opening on these pieces, but you should still have openings at your top corners and your bottom corners. Tabs are the last thing we do, Shannon. Those are going to go in the top when we do our corners. You guys are not starving. <laughs> ah, poopy dilly. Thank you, MJ. Good night, Sean. That would be very cute fabric or very cute to make in the fabric I'm getting from a vet for my nieces. Awesome. All right, well, that looks pretty ugly, but I'm ready. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did this little thing. Where, where is it? You see? Yeah. Where the It got the fabric went back on itself because I forgot. Oh, the yeah. Down. It's okay, though. It's on the inside. It's on the inside. You'll never it's see it. It's on the inside. I'm not worried. I, that's why I say okay. it's ugly, but who cares? So see this right. little part here. This is the bottom notch. Don't worry about the top ones yet. The bottom notch. It looks like a fishy mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to bring those together and kind of make it flat. So I'll show you again. Push that fishy mouth together <laughs> and then move that fabric over until you get like a flat seam. Put them yep. together. Ready? Yep. 
So just like that. And then you're going to sew a quarter inch seam there again. Okay. That's what it looks like, a fishy mouth. Mm -hmm. The perfect description for it. <laughs> <laughs> it do not want to make sure that. you back stitch this for sure. You don't want this part coming apart. I'm like, mine doesn't want to kiss <laughs> properly anyway. <laughs> well, then you'll have something that looks like that. So that's sure. what's going to make our bag stand up eventually. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, make it kiss together. <laughs> flatten it out and sew a quarter inch right across there. If you wanna get it real flat and be precise, you could iron it, but I'm winging it. Okay, so now I have two edges boxed. And as you can see, it's starting to turn into a bag that will stand. Okay, mine's pissed. I'm just going to have to gently use mine. Stephanie St Smith said, so the mouth of the fish shut. Yes. <laughs> Joy said, I just got mine quilted. Awesome. You're getting there. <laughs> so Shannon was asking about the tabs so that you're going to need the tabs for the next part. We're going to, we're going to, um, do the top corner on the side where the zipper is still a little bit shut first, but we'll wait for Yvette to finish her bottoms. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. She also got the broke wrist. I'm having a hard time. Sorry. Yeah. That doesn't help. It's okay. I'm used to it. It's just, Yeah. And my machine's kind of ticked. <laughs> I don't have a jukey. So I don't either. <laughs> oh, you don't? No. Oh, I have a genome. <laughs> so for the next part, you guys might want um, to get one wonder clip or a pin because we're going to insert the little tabs and they need to be in the center when we close our little fish mouth. <laughs> so don't do it like I did. The very first time I weighed one of these bags, I sewed the little fish mouth and I put this guy like this. Well, when you flip the bag the other That's way around, guess where the tab is at? <laughs> Inside. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna stick this little tab inside right here, right in the center. Make sure you center it and then close the fish mouth. Okay. You can have a little bit sticking out and then I would clip it right there in the center and then you could sew the quarter inch. Now, because this part is going over the zipper, be careful, go a little slower and I would back stitch over the zipper just to hold everything together a couple of times. Okay. Because obviously you're going to be opening and closing your zipper. You want it to hold. Probably be a good thing. So see, I've got it all clipped together on the zipper, the tab, and everything. And we're going to sew this fishy mouth shut. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. What? It's just, it's really thick. But actually, yeah. I'm finding this side better, easier than the other side. I don't know why, but. I, yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I did too when I did my first dag, and I'm doing. I'm finding that again this time. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, this side doesn't seem like it's very hard at all. Well, I almost broke my arm trying to do the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's one side. Now, before you do the second side, make sure that zipper is open. If your zipper is not open, you're not getting this bag open. <laughs> so make sure your zipper is at least part way open. <laughs> Where'd my other tab go? There it is. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my tab. This side's a little trickier because it's not shut. Right. So in the middle here, you're going to have to kind of hold your zippers together. That's why I said, get a wonder clip and then yeah. clip all this to hold it. Okay. Little trickier, but can be done. We're in a home stretch. I'm getting excited. I know. I, I get so excited left. when we get close to the end. I just want to get to see it done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let me make a fish mouth. <laughs> he is open, but I don't open it more. Okay, there we go. Fishy mouth. Fishy mouth. Get my little tab. Put my little tab in there. Definitely recommend going over that zipper a few times, especially since it's not put together there. Uh, Lay down, little boy. <laughs> I'm going to go back and clean up, cut like the extra piece of the tab off. Anything that's extra that you could cut away just to reduce some of the bulk. And see my bag is still open so I can unzip this zipper and flip everything. And hopefully if we did this right, we'll have a cute little bag. Great to see you. Nope, Black Beauty is not a Juki. Black Beauty is a Janome. Sorry, Nancy, that's not bad. I said the wrong oh, thing. Oh, no, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> um, Nancy Guest said, how did you break your wrist? <laughs> I'm exaggerating a little bit. I think it's a nerve issue. At least that's what the doctor said. 
and it just hurts all the time. That's all. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Aww. Thanks, Pam. Okay. She said, super cute. Larray said, am I a terrible person that I'm happy to see someone else struggle with projects like this because it makes me feel like I'm not as hopeless as I think. You're First not, all, as not as hopeless. You think. I guarantee you that pretty much everyone has the same issues. Yep. Um, and the only reason you're knowing about mine is because I vocalize it a lot. <laughs> Other people who act like they're not ma- having problems, they are. They're just not vocal. It, vocal and you're not hopeless. I promise you're not hopeless. There you go. And now we each have a cute little bag. Oh my God. Well, I love my little Sarah has a cute bag. little bag. <laughs> well, you have one. You made one already. I did. I'm going to make myself another one Yay. out of that fabric. So look how cute. That is adorable. And actually it did not take that long at all. I mean, no, the longest no. part was just sewing the, the squares together and doing the little quilting part. That's it. Yep. Everything That's the longest part of this. Quick. And otherwise it goes fairly quickly and you have a cute little bag. You can use it for notions, pencils, cosmetics, and if you use uh, soft and stable or this uh, flex foam that I use, it stands up by itself. If you use regular batting, it's not going to stand up as like pretty much at all. You're going to have it like sink like that. But woohoo! Then a white. <laughs> Do we finish our little bags? Yay! <laughs> if you guys have any questions. Um, Go ahead and ask them now. And if you have any questions later, you can check back in the video and try to follow along. But if you can't figure it out, feel free to contact me. I'm happy to help you. But it's a lot of fun. And if you like my fabric, Stephanie is selling it in her shop. Uh, yeah, I am. And it uh, is called the C and Me. S-E-A, the C and Me. Um, TNC Norton said, silly question, but are the fabric requirements always on your Saturdays with Steph page or should I save them now? They will be up there until I put the next project we're working on, which next Saturday, I don't have a project in mind, um, because of so many things that I have going on. So we'll probably just do a UFO so long, but whenever I put up the next project, those will disappear. So you might want to save it just in case, cause I, I don't know when I'll pull them off. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> your daughter's going to give you a big hug for giving her the bag. Yeah, she's excited about this. She picked out the fabric. It was <laughs> real excited. I was going to actually teach her how to make it herself, but she was a little intimidated. This was a little much for her. So let's see. Any other questions? Whoa, there's a lot of comments I missed. <laughs> okay. Very cute. I love them both. Thank you for showing us all how to make them. You explained it really good so I can understand. Oh, good, Maxine. I'm glad. I did a video earlier where I messed up a lot, but uploaded it anyway because normal people make mistakes. Yes, they do. And I think it's important to show that we're not perfect. Y'all, look at what I did with my zipper. It didn't mess it up, but can you see how I sewed it on top of each other? Oh, overlapped it? That's all right. I did because I actually, I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to do it really fast. But I mean, look at it. It still zips. It still oh, yeah. And I'm keeping it for me, so I'm fine with it. But I mean everybody will make a mistake with something yep. and you know probably even if I gifted this to someone I don't think they would say anything and if they did they would definitely never get anything again <laughs> there you go then they're not uh gift worthy homemade gift worthy that's right <laughs> <laughs> can you put straps through the hoops um absolutely I mean yeah I oh, holy cow what was that <laughs> Cat on the run, cat on the run. I think you could, um, you could also put, I think you could put um, like, like a, a little, ring here. yeah, a little ring. You could put a little yeah. ring and you could, um, if you, you could put a, straps like, on the rings, like those clip on kind. Um, yeah, and if you had a zipper that was like, had the bigger hole, and actually this one, you probably could, even though it's a little bitty hole, you can just get like a little charm. Yeah, I've but got a zipper hole on this one. Yeah. And it's a little bitty. Put a little zipper pull. That would yeah. be cute. 
Yep, definitely. You could do all kinds of stuff with that. You could put a strap, make it. That's actually a good idea. You can make like a little purse for a, a teenager. Yeah. Um, with a strap. Yeah. Or just put the rings and like attach your keys if you want to use it as a go bag or yeah. You could do yep. all kinds of stuff with it. Be a lot of fun. I think my it's daughter's probably going to put staff. Thanks. My Sarah's probably going to put her makeup in here. So she's starting to get into the makeup stuff. Like, like <laughs> even my, my everything went crooked, but I love it. I love yeah. it. I don't no, it looks care. cute. I love your fabric. Yeah. It's super. Now I got to make me one of that fabric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Get going. <laughs> I know it's beautiful. Uh, Teresa said, thanks for the product staff. Sure thing. It was fun. Oh, pom-poms. Yes, that would be fun. Yep. Thanks, Nancy. You could attach D-rings. You absolutely could. Yes. Pretty much anything you want. Yep. Yep. I think I will make it with batting and so fuse plus so it's not so thick seams. Yeah. I actually thought about using the, uh, I forget which pellet it is, where it's just a little bit of, it's thinner, but it's stiff. It's kind of like paper never. that you can like fuse. It has fusible on one side and you could stick it to batting. I thought about using that, but I tried the foam first and I like the way that came out. So, but I think you could use any kind of, um, you know, if you don't have any soft and stable, you could use any kind of batting with a fusible to make it stiffer. Yep. So let's see. Thank you for a great tutorial. You're welcome. You enjoyed this. Great. Awesome. Thank you all so much for being here. Do you have anything to talk about or want to say before we go? I don't think so. I had a great time. Thank you, Steph. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much. Now, don't forget to check out Yvette's shop. The link is in the description box below, as well as mine. We both have sales going on right now, and we'd love for you to come and check us out. Um, your uh, purchase means a lot to us because we're both small businesses. Um, and tomorrow starts my spring mystery sew along um and monday starts the fort with fabric studio st patrick's day sew along so lots going on this week so i hope you all join and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when i have new videos or i go live with friends like you bet because <laughs> we have a lot of fun over here sewing together <laughs> yep and thank you so much for your time, Yvette. I know you're so busy and I appreciate you coming and sewing with me because it's so much fun when I get to sew with a friend. So I love it, especially since Sherry came over and helped me to get my orders done. Thank you again, Sherry. That's love, so love awesome. Wow. So sweet. Uh, we have great friends. We love you guys. Thank really you so do. much. Have a good night, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow for the sew along. Bye, guys. Bye.